Okay, so it is time to work a little on our side lying stability and glutes. So we're going to roll onto the right hand side and you're going to take a small cushion for the head. That's the way. Beautiful. And from here, the knees are bent and the feet are back in line with your spine. Good. From here, take your top hand and just pull the waistline long at the top. Roll the hip forward slightly so the hips are stacked one on top of the other. And I want you to keep your hand on this hip to make sure it doesn't roll around anywhere. Set your core and slowly lengthen the top leg out. Imagine I've grabbed that left ankle and pulled it down to the wall below you. Keep that sort of length here. As we turn the leg inwards, the big toe faces the floor, we're gonna tap it down. Use the side of your glute to raise the leg back up without disturbing your torso or your back. That's it. So we're starting to wake up these all important glutes. Inhaling as we tap and exhaling as we lift. Good. Lovely. Last two. And one, hold the lifted position. Imagine a pen on your big toe, pointed down to the wall below you and begin to draw a perfectly formed circle about the size of a dinner plate. That's it. Remember not to skip the back half of your circle here. That's the juicy bit where you're starting to get the back and the bottom of the glutes going as well. That's it. Make sure the breathing is going nice and free. Good, I'm gonna pull your leg long here. There you go. When your waistline and leg are really pulled long, you should feel like there's a space underneath your bottom waistline, like you could slide a piece of paper underneath your body. Let's reverse these dinner plates. Drawing perfect circles on the wall below you. Lovely. Each time you breathe out, see if you can relax your diaphragm a little bit. Let it drop in. Last two. And this will be the last one. We're going to lower the leg just briefly. And this time raise the arm up into the air. A bit of an added challenge here, not to lose the stability of that top pelvis as we go for the next set. We're gonna go for the side kick. We're gonna take the leg up here and point the toe a little, good. Take the leg slowly forward as if you were sliding it on a glass coffee table. Try not to let the hips move, the pelvis move. Pull the toes back and drag the heel back so the leg is in line with the body. Point and take the leg forward. Flex, take the leg back. You've got it. Breathing in as we take it forward. Breathing in as we take it back. Feel the bottom of your glute gently engaging as we take the leg back and your core working that little bit deeper to control the spine from arching. You've got it. Maybe you can challenge that backwards movement by another inch or so. Yeah, or even a little bit more, as long as the spine stays neutral. Now, if that's going well for you, let's try the arm coordination. It's a little bit tricky, I'll talk you through it. As the leg goes back, the arm drops forward to point, point towards me. As the leg goes forward, it returns back to the original. That's it. That's it. Just a little bit of an added challenge to our torso stability, our spine control, but also now checking in with the shoulder blade positioning and making sure our head's back in line with the body as well. So it's part of our spine. Last two, breathing in forward. Breathing out back. This will be the last one now. Beautiful work. And relax, recover. Now, hopefully the glutes are okay, not burning yet. Yeah, because we're going to turn over and face on all fours towards the front mat here. And we're going to use that same glute again. So it's going to be your left, yeah? When you're on all fours, just make sure your cushions and so forth are out of the way behind you because you're going to end up sliding the foot back. The hands should be directly under the shoulders here and the hips directly over the knees, elbows unlocked, chin tucked in, back of neck long. And I'm looking about three inches in front of my hands here. My breastbone's lifted 
and my tailbone's reaching out to the back behind me. I've got my tummy drawn in, I'm gonna slide my left foot slowly back, imagining I have a glass of water balanced on the small of my back, and I don't wanna spill that glass, of course. Bring the leg back in, try not to disturb the body. Same leg again, let's take it back. Beautiful. Uh, left leg, left leg. Yep, that's it. Good. Now if the elbows are soft, that means the creases are facing each other. And that gives us a little bit less pressure on our wrists. Good. From here, we're going to take the left leg backwards and the right arm forwards, it's the opposite, towards me. Good. Can you raise your left foot off the floor without sinking your lower back to the ground? Can you tap the foot back down? And again, lift, exhale, and tap. Remember the base of the glutes we touched on earlier, and that's what we're working here. Good. The lower tummy will draw deeper in as you raise the leg to help steady your spine. Now, next time your leg is raised, hold it there. Can you slide your left foot to the left out to the side and your right arm to the other side? Slide them back to the middle, but don't drop them down. And again, yes. Can we go for another four? Notice how strong your breastplate is as it lifts up and away from the floor. Good. Back of neck long, shoulder blades down. I think this is the last one. We're gonna fold everything back in. Slowly sit back into our shell stretch where we're reaching those arms forward and the bottom back. Take a couple of easy breaths into the back of your ribs. Let your head drop like a bowling ball.